bought it. Incredible. One of the worst performances of my career, and they never doubted it for a second. Okay, you're probably going, is this like an Oxima commercial or what? But seriously, I actually have a way normal life for a teenage girl. I mean, I get up, I brush my teeth, and I pick out my school clothes. Where's my pleasing arc? Spaghetti arms? Would you give me some tension, please? You're invading my dance space. This is my dance space. That's yours. That's cha-cha. Okay, fine. Well, yours is the worst life of all, so you win. Oh, so now you're mad? No, it's because just you're I being ridiculous to to because music. you have a great life. I'm sorry, I'm not perfect. No one's asking you to be perfect. Just consider it. Would do. I don't even want to go to school in this state anyway. I hate California. I want to go to the East Coast. Your dad and I will barely be able to afford in-state tuition. There are loans. Your brother, you're very smart. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, um, today's video is going to be coming of age movies, must see coming of age movies. Um, I made a list of all my favorites and just ones that I loved and I wanted to share them with you guys um, just kind of to be able to watch over the summer. I love these movies so much. I've actually been really into all of these movies and I've been like binge watching them lately. So, um, yeah. But before we get started, I wanted to address a couple of things. First of all, I haven't gone for, I haven't posted like all of last week or Monday of this week um, because I... I was camping, so there should be a vlog coming out on my Vogue channel soon, possibly today, possibly like tomorrow or the next day, but it is out, it should be out soon, but if you're watching this later from when I posted it, it's out now, um, but you guys could go watch that and check out my Vogue channel, link in the description, um, second of which, I'm sorry, I look absolutely bonkers, I obviously, I was camping, so, and I've been doing a lot of things, I've been painting with my dad, and things like that. Um, another thing is my cat is meowing. She's in heat. I don't know. It happens. I might have said that in other videos. It happens. It's okay. Um, um, oh, and another thing is I haven't been using my ring light recently. I've been kind of out here or other places or just like I haven't really been ring using my ring light in the co last couple of videos, I guess. I think. I don't know. I was thinking about this earlier. But I'm working on something in my room and I just got my room clean. So I'm not really in the mood to like get it all the way out and to put it all the way back away. So, yeah. So that's why we're filming out here with the window and but the dark the black, the what? The, the back is a little dark, but I, I, you know what? It's lighting up my face, so I'll take it. Okay, and I've also been breaking out really bad, so I'm sorry if I look really, really ugly, but we're trying our best today. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get into it. I've got a list on my phone that I'm just going to read off from and tell you guys about it, and I don't know. Okay, so I found the note, so let's just get into my favorite slash must-see coming-of-age movies. Okay, so first of which is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I'm going to be honest, I hadn't seen this before until like a couple days ago, and then I watched it, and I was like... This right here, this, gold. So good, I loved it. It's on Netflix, go watch it. Next is Pretty in Pink. Um, this one has like Ro Mo Molly Ringwald. Pretty sure that's her name. Um, she's so cute, I've seen her in a lot of uh, movies. She may be in a couple of other ones that I might mention um, from my list, but she's just like such an amazing actor. She's in Riverdale and She's in The Secret Life of an American Teenager, which I've also been watching recently. Highly suggested too, but that's not a movie and it's not coming. Well, I mean, I don't know. it's not a movie, but it's still really good. It's on Hulu. But I love her. She's so amazing in like all these movies, especially when it's like she's younger, you know, like when she's not a grown adult, when she's younger. I love those movies. A lot of these movies are from different years, I guess. So I'll put the year up on the screen so you guys can kind of know when all these are from. What year they were made i guess because i think it's so cool i love watching movies that were made from before I, way before i was born like when my mom was born and stuff so yeah um next on my list is the edge of 17. this one's really really good 
um it i don't i don't know it just like it shows so much of like kind of growing up i guess and i don't know it, i really wanted to watch the movie for so long so kind of mini story time i wanted to watch this movie for so long and my mother was like ah, i don't know like because it was like i think it was like rated something that i wasn't the age yet but eventually like she watched it and she thought it was fine so like i watched it but it's just i think it might have been even rated like tv 17 or something i don't even know but it was like just like there was a couple of things in there that like might not be the most appropriate for like younger kids so if like you're under the age of i want to say maybe 13 like my sister's age maybe don't watch it but it's actually really good and if like your parent approves of it watch it because it's really good um, this next one is Lady Bird. This one I think is also rated R or rated higher too. Like if you, I want to say for this one, if you're like under the age of 15, maybe don't watch it or consult like a parent. Um, but it's really good. I really liked it. I just, I just loved like the journey of it all. Like I, I don't know. And then Timothy Chalamet's in it and it's, that's just so cute. And then I forgot the main character's name, but she's so cute because she's also in Little Women, which is so good. And highly recommended that too. Um, but she's just like, there's all such good actors. And it was just so good. And I just loved it. And yeah. The next one is The Breakfast Club. So good. I feel like when you like look at the trailer, it just kind of seems a little weird, I guess. Or a little, not, I don't know. When I think about like what it's about, I guess, it's kind of like, eh. But like if you watch the movie, it's so, so good. Um, cause if you like really think about just like the, I guess it's like, oh, a bunch of teenagers, they got into detention. It's like them in detention. And I'm like, what is that? But when you watch it, it's like, wow, that was a really good movie. So yeah. The next one is Clueless. Clueless is one of my favorite movies. I, I, how can I say that? All of these are really good and I love them all so deeply, but Clueless really is. Okay. I love all of it. It's just so good. And I don't know. But she's just so iconic. Like, Cher is, like, so iconic. Like, have you... He, if you haven't seen Clueless, I'm a little disappointed. Honestly, if you haven't seen, like, half these movies, I'm a little disappointed. But, yeah. This next one is 17 again. This one's a little little random. But um, it's just... If you haven't seen it or seen anything about it, because I feel like it's one of those movies that you haven't really heard of as much, I guess. At least for me. Um, but my mom is used to be like obsessed with Zac Efron. I don't know. My family was like a high school musical type family. Like I was obsessed. My mom was obsessed. My cousins were obsessed on my mom's side. It was just a thing. Okay. But Zac Efron, right? He's in 17 again. Um, the movie basically is he gets, becomes 17 again. Something happens. He falls in like a river. He wakes up and he goes home and then, he, well, he like wakes up, I guess. Or he like comes out of like the I don't even know how to explain. It. He comes out of the river or something. I don't know. Water gods basically turn him seventeen again, and he goes home and his best friend is there and he's like, what? Whoa, you know? And then he meets his ex. He sees like his ex-wife and he's she's like, whoa, you look just like my ex-husband when he was a kid, and he just has to like try to go to high school and like try to fix the thing that turned that like there was like a message, you know? So he had to like do something to turn him back to the age he was. I don't know if that made any sense, but watch it because it, it will make sense. And it's really funny and it's just like a really good movie in general. The next one is 13 Going on 30. This one's just awesome too. Like it just has such a sweet like love story to it, I guess. So it's kind of the opposite of 17 again. Um, she's 13 and she wish, wishes to be 13, 30. Wait, whoa, whoa. She wishes to be 30, flirty and thriving. Okay. Off of like a magazine, she wishes that. And I don't know. She's just like, that's what I want to be. She becomes 30. She sees what her life is like when she's like 30. And she's just like, this doesn't make any sense. And, but eventually like it turns out all cute and I love it. So you need, you need to see that one too. The next one is The Princess Diaries. Both of them. Um, both really, really good. I love them. They're so cute. They're just like, so, they're such a good like coming of age movie, I guess. They all are. But I really love this one because it's just like she was nothing and the next thing you know she's a princess like that's crazy i want to be a princess please i keep looking at myself in the viewfinder i'm sorry anyway the next one is dirty dancing i know that sounds weird um i don't know if think it might be like tvma or something i don't know 
but it's there's a couple of things that most I would kind of be like that's weird that made me uncomfortable but for the most part it's really not that bad it's a pretty good movie I really love it and I love just like I'm a dancer so anything that involves like dancing I'm like wow okay they're so good and they're just like they just like I don't know they go through like this thing they're at a campsite camp thing I don't know just go watch the trailer or something or watch the movie because it's really good and it's really hard to explain but it's like a really good movie Anyway, the next one is 10 Things I Hate About You. This one's so good. So good. Um, I keep saying they're all so good, but, like, they're all so good. Okay. But 10 Things I Hate About You, it's just, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's a really good movie, and they, like, it's a girl, and she's, like, not that popular. And she, her, like, sister or whatever can't date until she does. Her sister's, like, more popular, I guess. So she can't date until she does. And then, um... The person who wants to date her, the pretty one, they're both pretty, but the, you know, the popular one, um, she, like, he, like, devised a plan to, like, get her to go out with someone, and they're, like, paying someone to go out with her, I guess, so then she can go on a date with him, even though she doesn't even like him anyway, but it was just, yeah, a bunch of things happened, but it all turns out so good, like, you're just like, ah, oh, I wish that was my life, you know? The next one, The Perks of Being a Wallflower. I've only seen this once. I hadn't seen it. I don't know why, but I, I feel like for a while there, I feel like my mom told me not to watch it. And I was like, what? Why? But then eventually I watched I watched it, like literally not even that long ago, like when quarantine started or something. But it was so good. And I was like, my heart just like hurts for this movie. Like, I just, I don't know what to do. So I think you should watch it and just feel the hurt and like... I don't know, my heart just felt so like, meh, meh, you know? I think you should experience that. I keep saying like, you know, and like, oh, I just, Next one, 16 Candles. Also with Wally, Molly? Why do I keep saying Wally? Wally Ring Wall, Mo what? <laughs> anyway, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, she's in it again and in it too as well. That's, yeah, that's also starring her. I don't know how to speak words today i'm sorry anyway um we she's in that and it's just so good i don't really know how to explain the movie to you but it's just like one of those ones that's just like so nostalgic and when you watch it you're just like just so good it's just like so good it's just one of those ones you can kind of sit down and watch and it's just really good you know i just think you should watch it i know i say it's really good a lot but i think watch it right now not right now, after you finish this video. I only got a couple left. Like one, I got one left, okay. This last one is Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. This one's honestly like one of my favorites. Like I've seen it so many times. Not only because it was like the only movie on Hulu for a while that I could really watch. Um. Anyway, I don't know, but it was I felt like it was the only movie on Hulu for me to watch. So I was like, click and watch. But I was so happy when I watched it. This one is a dancing movie as well. It's kind of like this girl, she just moves to like this town and she's obsessed with this dance show. She's a dancer, she loves to dance. Like that's her favorite thing. And her, she meets this girl and they become best friends and they audition to be on this dance show. She makes it and she keeps going and she makes it onto the dam dance show. And just like her journey through that is like so amazing. And I just love like watching her learn and like dance and stuff it's just so super super cool and there's like a love interest kind of not really but it's kind of i don't know how to explain it they're not really i don't know but you just just watch it because you'll get it and it will just all be like such a cool movie to watch if you're anything like loving dance and loving dance like i love dance definitely highly recommend that movie because it's just so good like they all are they all are so good i know but yeah so that was the last movie i don't really have any other movies to talk about um, but I hope you guys like this video. I've got a lot of other fun videos planned for you guys. So please subscribe. We're so, so close to 200 subscribers. Like, so close. And remember, when we hit 250 subscribers, I'm gonna do a mini giveaway. Um, but yeah, we're so close. So close. Um, another thing I'd love if you guys did was go follow all my social media accounts. Um, especially my Instagram and my YouTube TikTok. Because those are where I post all of my updates. I also, you can also go ahead and follow my regular TikTok. Not sure if that's linked in the bio, but if it's not, 
I'll put it up on the screen. But, um, but yeah, so go check all that out, please, because I would love it if you guys did. Um, subscribe, you know, the usual. Press my notification bell so you guys can get updated on my fun videos. I've got so many planned. Um, another thing is I will be going camping again. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to upload, pre-upload videos for you guys so you guys won't be missing, um, out on any fun videos I've got planned. So, get ready because I am going crazy with all these ideas. I need you guys to like them, so give this one a thumbs up as well. Not this side. Thumbs up. Okay. Anyway, I'm feeling really cute right now, and I really don't know what to do about it. So, last but not least, have a good day, have a good night, have a good evening, or just whenever you're watching this, bye!